Hey, welcome to today's training. My name is Jose Rosado and I'll show you how to manage your calendar like a pro. So let's get started. Look, here's what we're going to be covering today. We're going to cover why this is important. Okay. Secondly, then the core three areas of your life so that you can manage your calendar with, with much ease. Then we'll cover like how to use Google Calendar like a, like a freaking pro. And finally, we're going to craft your perfect day so you can manage your life much better and reduce the stress of being a solopreneur or even, who knows, maybe you're running a big business. Hopefully, you learn a lot with today's training. So let, let's get started. Look, why this is important. Let me tell you why this is important. Because once you know how to manage your calendar, you'll feel in control, which reduces stress. Feeling that you're just stumbling upon things will will make you go crazy. So by managing your tasks better, by managing your calendar better, you'll be able to feel in more control. You'll also avoid having too many tasks and meetings in the same day. You know, have this ever happened to you where you just have <laughs> conflicting events, meaning things at the same time, and then you're just like, who should I cancel on? Ah, oh, man, this, it's horrible, right? So by managing your, your calendar much better, you'll avoid these uncomfortable situations. Then... This is another thing that I really enjoy about managing my calendar the way that I do. You can manage more projects at the same time without going crazy because now you know how much time you actually can afford for each, each project, right? And then it's great for mental health. As I told you a while ago, you'll reduce stress and you'll feel less anxious. So I don't want to spend a lot of time like showing you this. Let's go down to it, right? Here are the three core areas of your life. First, personal, the things that you do for yourself, like going to the barbershop or going to do some errands for your house because your wife or your spouse or whoever told you that you have to change the ceiling lights, right? The third area is business, things that make you money. And finally, family, time with your family, with your loved ones. By understanding these three areas of your life, you'll be able to create, let's say, categories depending on the events that you're going to be adding in your Google Calendar, which is exactly what we're going to be talking about right now. I'm going to show you how to manage your life using these three core areas of your life in order to categorize your events on Google Calendar in such a way that's just very easy to follow. So let's hop into my Google Calendar. Cool, so we are inside Google Calendar. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create an event. The first thing you need to do is click on one of these cells right here then you're going to name the event. Let's say that you have a meeting with John, but let's imagine that it's actually a two hour meeting, not like a one hour one. So what can you do? You could either click here and change the time, or you can click and drag this to make it a two hour meeting. And let's imagine that this is a weekly meeting that you have with John. Well, how do you create a repeating event? Well, you click right here, then you make it weekly on Wednesdays. And that way, once you save this, you'll see that every Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., you'll have a meeting with John. But let's say that we canceled these meetings. What can we do without, you know, just canceling every freaking meeting that we have with John? Let's say that this meeting from the 13th is canceled. So all we have to do is click here. Then we click delete event and we say delete this event. This means that only that event in that day will be deleted, even if the event is a recurrent one. And you'll see how this works. The, the meeting on the 13th is not there anymore, but on the 20th, it is still there. And you'll see it also on the 6th. So what if we want to see a bigger picture of everything we have for the month? Well, the first thing you need to do is click on this option, then click on the month item. And now you see everything that you have pending for this, for this calendar of yours. That said, what is this weird event that you see here? You know, it, it doesn't have a time, so what is all that about? Let me show you. Let's go back to the weekly view. And what we're going to do is, well, create a full day event. So that is literally what that event means. And then I'm going to say, let's say that on Saturday, I have a full day event with my family. I click here. And I say family trip. What I do is click the all event option and save. And now you see that family trip is uh, an all day event. And if I go to my month view, you'll see that 
now we have some similarities, right? So let's go back to the wiki view. And now we're going to cover something a little bit different because if every event is the same type of event, meaning the same category, you'll get lost. And I don't want you to get lost. So for that reason, we're going to create three different calendars categories. And these categories are based on your three core areas of your life. And the first step to make this happen is click this option here, then click the settings options. And here we're going to add a new calendar. We click there. We create a new calendar by hitting this option. Then we name this one business and we create the calendar. We wait for the calendar to be created. And then we're going to create a new one. We're going to call it family. And that way, we have all of the areas of our lives because we already have the personal one, which if you want, you can rename, but it's not necessary. You just keep your name right there. So let's delete all of this by clicking the delete event option. And let's delete all of the events because that one is a recurring, recurrent event. And let's delete this one too. So now that we have the different types of calendars, let's say that we have a business meetings with someone else. It's not John, it's with Mary. And it's on Thursday at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So what I do is I click this cell right here. Let's move it by dragging and dropping it because it's from 9 to 10 a.m. And then I'm going to pick the right calendar by clicking on this option, then choosing the business one. And I say here, this is meeting with Mary. And then I say save. And now I have this beautiful looking event right here. Also, let's say that every Friday, you go to dine with your spouse from, let's say, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And it's like family dinner or date with Brenda. That's the name of my wife. So what I do is I change this it's to family. And that way I know that all of these ones are about family. All of the ones that are in orange are for business. And the ones that are in green are for personal. Let's say that I go to the barber every Wednesday at 9 a.m. too. So I pick this, go to Barber, and then I make this a recurring, re uh, a recurring event by clicking here and then making it repeat every Wednesday. Then I save and I know that I'm going to have to go to the barber shop every Wednesday from 9 to 10 a.m. But what if you don't like the colors that you picked here? Well, the, the way to change the colors of the different calendars is by clicking this option then picking the color that you want. I like making the personal ones green, the business ones, I usually make it uh, blue and the family ones, I usually make it yellow. So that way I can see which type of events I have throughout the week and also throughout the month by clicking on this option and just changing the view to the monthly view. And now I know that every Wednesday I go to the barber shop and on Thursday 7th, I'll be meeting with Mary and on Friday, I'll be having a date with Brenda. So now let's talk about your perfect day. And why do I want to talk about this? The reason is that you want to create a simple schedule that you can follow every day of the week so you can actually know how much free time you actually have. So this way you don't overbook your calendar with events and meetings. And there's a caveat. When I say the perfect day and the perfect calendar is not about making it mandatory for you to follow. No, this is an aspirational calendar, an aspirational day. So you can actually, you know, work your way towards that perfect day of yours. So let's head back to Google Calendar and let's make this perfect day of yours. So we're back at Google Calendar. So let, the first thing we're going to do is go to the week view and then I'm going to delete all of this delete all the events and I'm going to go to the next week. So that way I can see my full week without any kind of distractions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plan my Mondays. And let's say that I wake up at 7 a.m. And let's say that it's going to take me two hours to get ready. And when I say get ready, it's, it's actually like taking a bath, then, then eating breakfast, reading the news or whatever. So I'll do the following thing. I'll make this a two hour event and I'll just call this get ready and I'll make this and I'll make this a personal one and it's already there. So I'll just save this and that's it. By the way, I would love to see this also every day of the week. So I'll do the following thing. 
I'm going to edit this by clicking the events and then the little pencil that you see on this side. Let me, let's click there and then let's change a few things. Let's make this repeat only on weekdays. And you see this option. We click it and we save. And now this is repeated every day of the week. The next step is what else do I do after I wake up? Well, I usually go to the gym. So I'll do this, I'll change this, and I'll make this a gym. But the thing is that I don't go to the gym every day. I just go to the gym on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursday. So from Friday to Saturday, I don't go to the gym. But I want this to be an, an event that's repeated on these four days. So how do I do this? Well, the first step is clicking this option, then clicking on this option and making it a custom event repeat by clicking this option here and then selecting the days. It repeats on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Then I click Done, then I click Save, and now you see that if I go to the month view, all of the days that I'm going to the gym, well, there you see it. So let's go back to the week view. Now let's say that I like writing. I usually like writing, actually, after going to the gym. So what I do is I write for 60 minutes, and I pick this time, and I'll, I'll just name this Writing. And I'll make this business because even though I write for pleasure, all of these things that I write, I usually post online or turn it into a product. So I'm going to save this. But first, let's make this a daily thing on the weekday. Let's select that and let's save. And now I know that during the mornings, I'm just writing. After I write, I usually read for ah, 30 minutes, top 60 minutes. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. And I'm going to put this like reading. Okay, let's change the typo. And let's make this a repeatable thing every day of the week. It's a personal thing, so let's save it. And now I know that all of my mornings are for me, which is how I like making it happen. Then I also take into consideration like the time that I'm going to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the times that I usually eat and check this out. And now I know that I only have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six hours of real work to manage my tasks, to deal with client work and all of that. So let's say that you have a weekly meeting with your team every Monday at, from at 1 p.m. or let's say at 2 p.m. Let's change this to team meeting. Let's make this a business event. And it's only on Mondays. So I'm going to make this repeat only on Mondays at this time. Now I know that every Monday I have this, and let's say that every Friday at before dinner, I plan my week, so I could do this, plan week, or plan next week, and it's a one hour event. So I'll just make this repeat weekly on Fridays, and I'll make this business. And then I'll save all of this stuff. Now I know more or less how much free time I have, but let's do one final thing. Let's delete this one. I don't actually launch at that time at that. So I'll remove that and let's remove all of this. Let's save it. And now all of the events. And now I'm going to do the following thing. I usually go to my family's house at that uh, during Saturday. So what I do is I block off all of that time for a few hours. It's not that much. It's actually like three hours. Lunch at mom's and I'll make this a family event. And it's every Saturday. So I'm going to make this repeat every Saturday at that time. And now I have basically what I would call my perfect week. On this times, I'll be creating more content. I'll be putting in some meetings and doing whatever the hell I want. I'm sometimes watching dumb things on YouTube. But by having my perfect day and my perfect week created by myself, of course, I now know how much time I actually have available to do the things that I love to do the things for my clients, to do the things for my buyers, and to plan ahead of time. So let's say that you have a meeting for whatever reason at 9 a.m. on a different day. Let's, let's do it right now, month. We change month, we delete this from this time because it's on the 20th, let's delete the event. Let's only delete that event, and I'm going to add a business meeting on the 20th. So what I'm going to do is click the day, as you can see, bam, now, I'll have a direct access to the day view and I'm going to add a meeting right there. But the thing is that meetings usually are longer than one hour. So I'll have to delete this one, this event, and I'll make this event 
a business once for one hour and 30 minutes and just call it business meeting and make this calendar a business one. And now I know that on the 20th, I'll have that business meeting. And whenever I'm taking a look at my month view, I'll see that this one is here. But still, this is overwhelming, right? Seeing all of these days, it's just overwhelming. And here's why I actually separated things by these three big core areas of your life in the calendar, of course, because of this, I can disable all of the personal ones and I can see only the things that are business related or family related or both of them or just only business or maybe just the personal ones. In that way, I have more control. And even if you, let's say, have more categories of your, your core areas of your life, make it happen. Let's say you have a category for, for errands. You could, you could literally create a calendar category called errands. So you know that, let's say that every Saturday you go to the, to the supermarket, you add the supermarket event, you go every Saturday and you just pick the, the errands category. And that way you can filter through just by clicking or disabling or enabling each of these checkboxes. Does this make sense? So let's go back to the weekly view and now take a look at this. Copy it if you wish, but my encouragement is the following. I would love for you to take action. So I want you to plan your perfect day. And that's literally all I want for you. That's all. Go ahead, open your Google Calendar, create the different categories, you know, personal, business, family, errands, or any other thing, right? Time with the, with the friends or whatever. And then just start creating your perfect day, then your perfect week, so that way you know how much free time you actually have to pursue your goals, to pursue your, your love, the things that you love, to pursue the things that excite you, or maybe just to procrastinate without feeling guilty. <laughs> Make sense? So that's about it. My name is Jose Rosal, and I would love for you to do the following thing right now. Before you actually plan your perfect day, go ahead, click the link below, join my newsletter, and talk to you soon.